we've entered Sigma 3 here in part 10 of Mega Man X. And I think we're ready to go. Six lives, a little bit of sub tank as you can see. Let's move forward and see what else Sigma has in store for us. Switch to our handy dandy storm tornado to take care of some of these enemies. There we go. If you can, farm, farm. Who could this be? Ah, Armored Armadillo. So if you remember correctly, it's the electric spark is his weakness. Alright, now that we've done that, we're going to bust her into death. Remember, now that his armor is removed, you can hit him at any time. I prefer to bust her because I find it to be a little bit quicker. Of course, yeah, you can use his weakness, but where's the fun in that? Oh, that was a pretty good slide under him there. Fuck you, bitch. He only does turn into a punk-ass bitch after you get rid of his armor with that electric spark. Moving on. Always go up and see if there's more power-ups. Never just simply end... A little spat there. All right. Use a little bit of boomerang cutter here. Whoops. Or we can just dash. <laughs> oh, when you look shitty, you look shitty. <laughs> well, we know who this clown is. Stink Chameleon. His weakness is the boomerang cutter, which we didn't have when we faced him. Oh, but we do now. That doesn't make him terribly easy. As you can see, I'm getting kind of douched already. It does make things somewhat easier. But you can't get him caught in a loop if you uh, shoot it and move a little bit right before he lands. And there you go. Again, I can't stress enough how much weakness order really helps in this game, especially to people that aren't familiar with the series. Moving on. As I shoot that the wrong way. Okay, we're gonna use a charged up boomerang cutter now. Now we don't need it anymore. He's dead. And the boomerang cutter can fetch some items. Moving on. Ha ha ha. Spark Mandrel. His weakness is the shotgun ice, folks. Let's stun lock this bitch. Whoops. Well, let's attempt to stun lock him. <laughs> God, I love playing this game. As you can see, we got at least one more Maverick by my count. Pretty sure there was at least one, maybe two more. We know what his weakness is, which is the rolling shield. Doesn't stun lock him, but does the job.
He's one of my least favorite Mavericks. Yeah, I'm going down just like last time. <laughs> Punk ass motherfucker. Gotcha. Mid air. That went a lot smoother than last time. <laughs> Now you can get some items up there and go along that path, but there's also an easier way to do this. Let's wait for this guy to go down. We'll use your boomerang cutter here. These guys are big assholes. There we go. There's that one. We got a one up. Screw all that. <laughs> I'm not playing that game. Now, what's really cool here with Flame Mammoth is you can use the boomerang cutter to cut his tusk off. Let me get charged up here. Shit. Oh, it's there we go. I don't think it really makes any type of difference besides the aesthetic value. But his weakness is a storm tornado. In case you didn't know. Again, it doesn't really stun lock him either, but it does do considerable amounts of damage. Goodbye. Making some good time through here. Can't be afraid to take damage, folks. Alright. This is the biggest pain in the ass boss fight you will find in this game. His weakness is the boomerang cutter. Keep your distance if you can. I'm going to take a massive hit here. I didn't need to. Keep in mind, when you use the boomerang cutter, when you're up in the air, it drops down. But when you're down on the ground, it will go up. Easiest way to dodge this attack is wait for it to be powered up. And move through it. This fight really isn't too bad. It's just a... It can be a tasking pain in the ass if you're not doing your timing well. But we ain't dying here. Not today. Yeah, boy! One last level. Oh my! Let's go ahead and save here. I tell you what, this is going to be a doozy. One last thing. In our next video, it'll probably be our finale, but one little quick tip I want to show you before we cut this video out. If you power up your rolling shield power up, you get a shield here. Okay, just like it describes. Climb up here. Listen closely. See the bugs? See that? They pop out power-ups. You can fully stock up all four of your sub-tanks right here. It'll take a little bit of time. You'll probably lose about five minutes of your life.